In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a impact transition in After Effects. Put your hand in the air if you ain't been broken a minute. And the impact transitions is one of the most essential transitions you guys need to use for your projects to make them complete. And before the video starts, I just released my brand new Ultimate Transitions Bundle, which includes literally the best transitions you guys could be using for your music videos or After Effects projects. So to check it out, there's going to be a link down below so you guys can easily go and check it out. Now let's start with the tutorial. So here we're in After Effects and I'm using two clips of NEMS here. And the composition settings I'm using is FHD with 24 FPS if you guys want to use the same. And we're going to start off by creating a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here we're going to start off by creating a marker where the transition point is, which is here. So make a marker there. Now we can go eight frames to the right, then cut the adjustment layer, then go back to the transition point and then go eight frames to the left, then cut the adjustment layer. So now our adjustment layer is 16 frames in width here. And for the impact transition here, to make it impactful in and of itself, we want to make it some sort of build up for this. And I'm going to start off by doing that by making a flickering effect to it. So we're going to be adding exposure to our adjustment layer, just like that. And here we can start off by keyframing the exposure at zero. Open up the adjustment layer, effects, exposure. And I'm going to be doing the same thing for the other side. So go to the other side, master, and then press this keyframe button here to keyframe the same amount. Then go to the uh, second frame, we can drag it up to 0.5, do the same thing for the ending of the transition, then do the same for the opposite side, so 0.5, and then for the third frame here, we're gonna set it to 0.25, so it first starts low, goes up, low, then goes up even more. So it's like a build up towards the transition point. Opposite side, set it to 0.25 here as well. Then go back, and here we're going to be setting it to 0.75 now. And opposite side, 0.75 as well. And then go back to the uh, first side. We're going to set it to 0.35 here. The other side, 0.35. And now set it to 1.25. Other side, 1.25 as well. Go back, set it to 0.75 again. 0.75 here we can set it to 1.75 after that other side 1.75 as well and then for the transition set it to like four or something like that so now we get this small impactful transition right here and what we can do more is to add some blur to this so i'm going to be using directional blur for this and here we can go to the transition point and then increase the blur length to 200 and then keyframe the blur length at the transition point to 200. Go to the end, set it to zero. Go to the beginning, set it to zero as well. Directional blur, open it up. Then select the keyframes, press F9. Open the graph, value graph. Here, make a sharp graph like this. So not a simple sharp graph when you just, you know, drag one of these adjustments in. You actually drag down both of these down into the corner. Not fully with this one, but just uh, so we get a little bit more impact to our uh, transition here. So this is how it looks right now. Super clean so far. And you guys can see we get this kind of uh, black edges here. And how to fix that is actually to add motion type to this. We can add it above exposure. Press mirror edges. And then set the output width and output height to 150 here. Just like that. And this in and of itself looks super, super cool. And it's, you know, if you want to, this is done. Like this is super clean, fast uh, impact transition here. But if you want to make it a little bit more unique, you could be adding radial blur to this, for example. I'm gonna add radial blur, make it super unique when it actually get the impact here. I'm gonna set the spin amount here to 25. We we'll get this look here. Key from it at 25, go to the beginning, set it to zero, then go to the end, set it to zero as well. Open up radial blur. Same here, select the keyframes, F9, go to graph. Here, make the same impact we did before, heavy impact like this. And if you want, you can increase the blur even more. Set the radio blur to 50 if you want to make it even stronger. Adjust the graph if you do. And now when we play, it's going to look something like this here. Insanely clean. And then after the radio blur, you can be adding a transform to this. And here we start with setting the scale at 100 in the beginning. Keyframe it, go to the transition point, set it to 200. Then 
go to the end, set it to 100 again. Open up transform, select the keyframes, press F9, graph again, and here make it very heavy. Like something like this. Should be this sharp impact here. So now when we play it, you get something like this here. This small like zoom in boom. You now really get this heavy hit, you know, on the transition here, which looks super, super good. And now we want to save this as a preset as well. And what you just need to do is pressing Control A on your keyboard to select all of the effects here, and then go to animation, save animation preset. Here you just name it impact transition, then press save. Great, now we can use it for another time for our future projects. But as you guys saw, that's a very time consuming thing to create a bunch of impact transitions for your projects and that's why i created the ultimate transitions bundle so you can skip that whole part and get the best transitions literally in seconds so i'm going to be showcasing the impact transitions that's a part of the ultimate transitions bundle so what you just need to do is basically create a new adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y open up animation presets use presets impact transition and one of my favorite is the wide pixel impact super fire transition here and just drag and drop it. Now we just need to align it based on the keyframe. So the middle one is where the transition point is. Just drag it above to the transition point. And now when you play, it's going to look something like this. Absolutely incredible transition here. Looks insanely good, like absolutely incredible. And the crazy part is that that is just one transition from the ultimate transition bundle. It includes over 70 presets in there. And this is just one of them, which is in and of itself mind blowing. So now I can show another one, create a new adjustment layer. I think the warp twist bass hit is really cool as well. Drag and drop. And it's going to look something like this here. Boom. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible twist impact there. Now I can show you guys one last one. Create a new adjustment layer. Here we can use the flash warp impact. Just drag and drop. And it's going to look something like this when we play it. Insanely cool. Like... <laughs> this has to be the best flash impact I've seen. So yeah, that was some crazy impact transitions from the Ultimate Transitions Bundle. And to check it out, it's going to be a link down below so you guys can easily go and check it out. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a impact transition in After Effects with no plugins at all. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.